Hello and welcome to part three of how to build a website. In this video we're going to talk about selecting a web host because that is just critically important um, but probably third in, in line of selecting a good business plan and domain name. So once you've got those two things out of the way it's time to figure out what company or service are you going to use to keep the files of your website and to have them broadcast them on the internet and that's what a web host does and they do that with what's called a server and a server is essentially a computer um, similar to your PC, your desktop that you have right there in that it has a hard drive and collects information except a server is a special computer that basically is responsible for broadcasting the files for your website onto the internet. Um, web hosting I've noticed with new webmasters is a corner that uh, a lot of new webmasters like to cut cost wise and um, you know granted there are a ton of hosting companies out there that offer free web hosting offer free services and I'm just gonna warn you right now don't go that route um, those free hosting accounts and those free hosting services have a lot of limitations that if you're going to want to be serious about being a webmaster those limitations are unacceptable um, otherwise if you're not serious at all and you just want to try something I would fully recommend them because of course they're free um, but otherwise there's just going to be some basic features that you're going to need um, especially if you're going to have any degree of seriousness or success in my opinion um, when you're getting online and you um, use their services to get your website broadcasted. What I've done here is I've compiled a website with a list of what I believe to be basically the top six uh, website. You can find these websites at acegxhosting.com this web page right here and I can just tell you right now if you go with any one of these six companies um, feel like you've make it, made a great decision because you have. All these companies have all the features you'll ever need and plenty of memory and plenty of bandwidth all for under $10 a month. And if $10 a month is a little too much for you, I don't mean to be offensive, but online <laughs> business may not be your, your cup of tea. Um, $10 or less a month for everything they offer is incredibly cheap and like I said you're going to be set up not only for the initial website that you want but each one of these companies will be able to host pretty much as many domain names as you think you can handle or want okay all for the same fee so again you don't have to pay a separate fee or monthly cost each domain name that you want to add to that account you can use that one hosting account um, from any one of these companies to manage all your domain names um, another nice thing is all these companies have the latest, uh, you know, in PHP, PHP 5, um, as, as at the time of this video, along with MySQL databases and many, many other features that are, are important, again, to having a comprehensive web platform. To check out these sites, you can find the link in the information area in the upper right corner of the YouTube video here. Um, also, another thing I'd like to say about all six of these companies is their customer support is fantastic. Um, whether you need to do it by email, by phone, or by live chat, uh, most of all of these facilitate that in either way. Um, like I said, I have never had any issue uh, customer service wise. Uh, very, 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 very positive results and experiences actually. So again, check out acegxhosting.com. They're going to have the top six out there. Um, the reason I've kind of done this video and made this website and page is because if you type in hosting on Google or do a Google search for hosting, you're going to get probably too many results. And, you know, if you're going to make a purchasing decision, you've got to be prudent and research and do your due diligence to figure out what's going to be best for you. And that will just take an impossibly long amount of time if you had to research every result that pulled up in the search engine. So um, that's kind of what I've done for you here. Just pick from one of these six. It really won't matter. Like I said, um, all of them are basically offering the same thing, just w in different ways. Um, but, but the bottom line is, all are very affordable, all have the latest in the tools and features and packages that you'll need. Also they have uh, Fantastico, which is basically an auto installer for over 50 scripts. Um, if you don't know about Fantastico, you know, just do a quick Google search on that, but it uh, basically is a tool that comes with all these hosting accounts that can help you produce fantastic websites in the, literally the click of a button or two. Um, so again, all of these have that feature and uh, 
like I said, you, you can spend a lot of time shopping and comparing and this and that. Just know that these six have uh, more than enough bandwidth and memory for what you need and the features. So check them out. I hope this was uh, helpful for you, but this is going to be kind of the third stage that you want to do in getting your website online. You're going to first, of course, want to have a business plan. Then you're going to want to get a domain name and figure out what that business plan or is going to represent and be called. And then you're going to need a platform or a hosting company that will take the files for your website, which is coming up in another part here, um, and broadcast those files to the internet. And like I said, this is not an area you want to cut corners on in cost. You don't want to go with a free route because any limitation with your hosting server or your hosting company is going to represent a direct limitation for your business. So again, for less than $10 a month, that is incredibly nominal to get everything that you get with these companies. Um, it's, it's just worth it to do it right the first time. And uh, you know, again, also remember, this one company can ho ho house and host all of your domain names for the same cost. So um, if you want to host 100 websites and get them up before the end of the month, okay, well, any one of these companies can do that for you and it's going to be the same monthly cost which is real nice because it's a fixed cost that is um, independent of how many websites you're operating at any given time so again check out hgxhosting.com and um, you'll be able to get a list of some of the best out there and um, I'll see you for the next part of how to build a website